11 Things Men Wished Women Knew About Them Number 1. They want to hear compliments. One of the first things men are taught when trying to woo women is to shower them with compliments. But what most people don't know, even some men themselves, is that men crave compliments too. They want to be complimented by others, but especially from women. They want women to acknowledge the work they put into their looks, whether it's their fashion choices or their sculpted bodies. Even if they say they don't want to hear compliments, there is still a part of them that craves them. It doesn't always have to be verbal, either. A lingering stare can do wonders to boost a man's confidence, reminding him just how attracted you are to him. Number 2. Praise him for more than his looks. While men will appreciate any compliments about their bodies, they are also looking for praise in other aspects of their lives. Praise him for the intangible traits too, like kindness and loyalty. It is also very beneficial to praise them on skill sets that are often neglected in masculinity. Tell him that he is a good cook, empathic, or is a wonderful parent. Tell him that he is a gentle and caring partner. By telling him these things, he not only will feel great about himself, but will want to further prove that he is capable of being this type of man. Number 3. Their brutal honesty is well-intentioned. Often, men aren't really raised to be tactful about the way they approach things. To those that aren't used to this, their unfiltered honesty appears rude, with no thought behind it, or consideration of the situation the other person is in. But in truth, this is their way of showing they care. Men are not going to mince their words to the person they care about. To them concealing their thoughts, and filtering their language is something that they must do all day long at work. But with their loved ones, they want to share the truth. He will choose to bear his soul to the woman he loves. He will tell you what he thinks about that friend of yours he doesn't like, because he genuinely thinks they are not good for you, it's not because he doesn't respect your feelings. Number 4. They want to solve your problems. Most women want to talk through any problems they have in their lives with their partner. Sometimes they might be surprised and even annoyed when they find out their man has taken action to resolve the problem. What these women might not understand is that men are just hardwired to solve the problems for their loved ones. There's no ill intention and they don't think that women are incapable of solving their own problems. They just don't want to see their loved ones suffer. Be upfront when talking to your partner, let them know whether you just want to rant, or if you want his help with your problems. Once he knows your intention, he will be more than happy to just be a sounding board and listen to everything you have to say. Number 5. They want to be recognized for their reliability. One of the ways a man shows his commitment is by being there and showing up. He might not be good with words or shower you with gifts, but he will be there for you when you need him. Whether it's to help you with household chores or being there when you lose a loved one, he will be there. But unfortunately, some women might not immediately recognize these actions as signs that he cares. The guy who's always there for you to share your problems with, is probably the man who cares the most about you. Maybe all you do is complain to him about other guys who in truth don't really care about you. When he sees you spending all your time thinking and acknowledging those types of men, he can't help but think he should be that type of man too. That's why they would love to be acknowledged for their dependability. After all, positive reinforcements can do wonders to a man's behaviors. Number 6. They need their alone time. Men understand that spending time together is important for the health of the relationship. But also men need their alone time to just be men. Couple time usually means both parties have to compromise on some aspect of their activity. While this is ultimately a good thing, spending all of their time like this can be harmful to both parties. Men especially don't want to be attached at the hip all the time. They need some time to spend a night out with the boys. Maybe your guy wants to visit a place that he knows you have little interest in. Giving him, and yourself, some time alone is necessary to the relationship. It will refresh his mind and fuel him with more stories to tell you later, thereby strengthening your relationship. Number 7. They love feminine touches. Many men love the small, feminine details that their female partners can bring to their lives. He loves the flowers and colors his partner chooses or the home-cooked meals he comes home to. 
while a good man will not want to turn his female partner into a housewife from the 1950s, he certainly appreciates any sort of feminine touches that his partner is comfortable with doing. Don't hold back on bringing these feminine touches to his life. If he is not comfortable with it, he will say so. If he doesn't say anything, there's a good chance he loves what you are doing. Number 8. Take charge of your bedroom activities. Despite conventional thinking, a significant percentage of men actually love when their lady takes charge and leads their bedroom activities. For this kind of guy, seeing his partner taking control means that she is showing her desire for him. Whether she actually orders him to do certain things or just explains to him what she wants in the bedroom, seeing her become an active part of their intimate activities ignites his passion like nothing else. He takes pleasure from seeing you enjoying yourself, it's a win-win situation for both. Number 9. They need to see it to believe it. Men can be a little dense when it comes to intangible things. That's one of the reasons they love sports so much. Every achievement is a measurable number, not some vague concept with a changing goalpost. That's why when they can't see success, they don't believe it. What can be measured when it comes to emotional life? This is why men need to be reassured by their partners that they are doing well. Tell them when they did a task just right. Say when they are being a supportive partner. Since they can't see whether they are doing well, tell them and reassure them that they are. Number 10. Don't single out their mistakes. Men are usually very logical about things. This means that they tend to look at the overall success of a situation rather than any single detail. They really hate it when their partners nitpick one thing they did wrong, when so many other things they did went perfectly. He hates when you pester him about the shirt he forgot to put away when he did all his other chores to perfection. He's annoyed when you keep complaining how he was late this one time when he usually isn't. He would rather you stop focusing on the negatives. Yes, men make mistakes, but he would rather you focus on the overall picture than the insignificant details. Number 11. They aren't always good with emotions. One of the unfortunate things about masculinity is that young boys are often taught to ignore their feelings and that their emotions make them weak. Because of this type of upbringing, they grow up suppressing their emotions and turn into men who literally have no idea how to feel about things. When a man tells you he doesn't know how to feel about something, don't immediately get mad and call him insensitive. It's possible that they really don't know how to feel because of the way they are raised. Give them some time to process their experience. If you have the time and patience, guide them through it. Just don't immediately dismiss them for something they probably have no control over. Men are humans, and humans have emotions. While they might be taught to suppress their emotions, don't belittle them if they do choose to express them. Let them cry, scream, or laugh. They are not robots who cannot feel. It is healthy for them to let out their emotions. Don't make them bottle up their emotions until it explodes in an unhealthy way.